Aloha, hi, I'm Chef Sam Choi, and I am a professional chef, and this is my life story. You know, I, I come out of an industry where it's mostly Europeans. So, you know, I, I'm Asian, I'm Chinese, Hawaiian, German, and basically, uh, they don't look upon us as being chefs. My dad was a master chef. You know, I was kind of one of the fortunate ones to learn in my mom and dad's kitchen. You know, my dad, Chinese, hunched over, kind of tiny little guy, hunched over, cleaning whatever he was doing, you hear people talking, the next thing you know, he put it all on the fire, cooking it, steaming it. Then all of a sudden, you know, all the volume of the, the talking just disappears. And when I was young and I looked around and I went like, wow, man, they're eating. Why are they quiet? My dad told me when the food's good, they're enjoying it, they're not talking. They got no time to talk. What is poke? Poke is truly a dish from Hawaii. It is definitely Hawaii's food. And what it is, is fresh fish cut into cubes. And so from there, it goes on with other things that you add to eat raw. The young generation today, they're having it like with soya sauce and um, you know hot peppers and sesame seed oil. Would I consider myself a godfather of poke? Yes, I would, because I've been in battle with poke forever, from day one. You know, what's really remarkable is that I always had a vision of sushi and sashimi. It's a household name around the world. So poke, I felt, had the same billing as sushi and sashimi. One of my big things that I've always learned from my parents was always set your goals high. You know, um, never be stubborn, be very open. Um, you know, my mom and I had a very interesting conversation when I was really young, like about 17. And she opened my ears and eyes to what she had told me. Whatever you do in life, even if you're a dishwasher, learn to be the best dishwasher. You know, so that has always stuck into me because I know that for a fact that if you don't be good in what you're doing and you don't build your foundation, you'll have a hard time. It's always nice to look at a real famous chef and go like, I want to be like him. Hey, that's great because you're setting your sights for that. But also there's a lot of work in between that. Learn to work hard, learn to study, learn to be ears open, learn to have the right attitude, but I think more importantly, learn to have fun while you're doing all of that. Always cook from your heart, to your hands, to your walk. So that's what I tell the young generation. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.